The total solar eclipse has raced across North America. The spectacle was watched by millions in the US, Mexico and Canada. It was North America's biggest eclipse crowd ever thanks to the densely populated path. Now, cloud cover threatened to spoil the view in some places, especially in parts of Texas, but the skies cleared with minutes to spare. Now, during a total solar eclipse, the moon passes in front of the sun and blocks the sunlight for a few minutes. Uh, there won't be another coast-to-coast -coast spectacle on the continent until 2045. Uh, remember, there were a lot of people who gathered uh, in the North American stretch uh, in Mexico, in Canada, as well as the U.S. Uh, to watch the uh, spectacle of the total solar eclipse, uh, which is in fact uh, making history in itself as it's taking place uh, after quite a long time. And it won't be uh, seen again uh, in a coast-to-coast -coast spectacle until 2045 is what we're learning. Uh, now, as we bring you visuals from there, a lot of people are saying that uh, they're quite excited to view the uh, cosmic spectacle. Now, Associate Press correspondent Marcia Dunn explains the significance of this eclipse. Take a look. The April 8th total solar eclipse has come and gone, and just about everybody went home happy. And across North America, from Mexico to Canada, more places than forecasters thought ended up with good enough weather to actually see the sun covered up totally by the moon. Scientists and astronomers came away especially pleased because rockets were launching, weather balloons were going up. Everybody wanted to look at the sun's corona, the outer atmosphere, learn more about that as well as what's going on in the upper atmosphere here on Earth. There's just so much to learn about the Earth and the sun and total solar eclipses are nature's gift to us to just become smarter and it's going to be another 21 years until North America sees another coast to coast total solar eclipse so that one made this one all the more special. This solar eclipse, why is it different? Why is everybody talking about it? Now, NASA scientists, in fact, are saying uh, that as annual solar eclipses take place, uh, uh, there are also hybrid solar eclipses that happen. But this one that's taking place is a so total solar eclipse uh, that doesn't occur quite often. Uh, now, usually when the moon passes uh, between the sun and the earth, the three celestial bodies don't, in fact, align properly. Uh, as a result, uh, there isn't a complete solar eclipse, but there is a uh, part of the sun that is covered by the moon. Uh, that is also the reason why India didn't get to see this particular solar eclipse. Uh, now, it's also considered a rare sight uh, because the orbit of the moon is not in a perfect circle around the Earth, which also uh, tells us why there aren't uh, total solar eclipses quite often. Um, and uh, now, of course, this is a rare spectacle in its own as this doesn't occur often. Uh, the alignment has to be just perfect for the moon to completely cover uh, the sun, uh, providing the kind of ring uh, of uh, the, uh, the sun that we see when we talk about eclipses. Uh, but usually when we do witness eclipses that are quite often, uh, we, we see that the sun is not completely covered by the moon. That's what makes this uh, a, co a, a cosmic spectacle. Uh, as you see, we usually see a part of the sun even when it comes to an eclipse, uh, when we're usually talking about eclipses. And you might have seen uh, people show you images of leaves. Uh, that make a crescent uh, shape on the ground with their shadow during eclipses. Uh, but this is different because as you can see, as a total solar eclipse occurs, uh, the moon completely covers the sun when it comes between in the path of the earth and the sun. Uh, so that is, of course, uh, why this particular uh, eclipse is considered to be uh, special compared to others. And we're not going to see something similar uh, to this uh, until uh, 2045. Uh, there, of course, uh, so people in America, uh, in Canada and in Mexico were, in fact, uh, uh, quite excited. Uh, these are, of course, visuals of people there using their special uh, uh, glasses, um, UV glasses to look at uh, the spectacle. And as you saw, as the moon completely covered the sun when it came to this total solar eclipse, uh, there, was a, there was a wave of darkness uh, that emerged post that. Uh, and a lot of people, of course, as you can see, uh, these are visuals from New York that we're showing you. And several people across America, in fact, uh, if, uh, at the coast were able to view uh, the uh, eclipse.